Evolve version 1.6 is already here. For those of you who don't know, Evolve is a modern GDK theme manager with a lot of cool features like an online GDK theme or icon store, online extension store, and even an online wallpaper store, all inside one app. And not just that, recently GNOME 47 got released and they added support for accent colors in GNOME. With Evolve, you can extend that support further to your favorite third-party theme. And not just that, you can also adapt your favorite GDK theme according to the colors of your set wallpaper with the help of adaptive colors. So I currently have a Patreon alpha release and here are the latest 1.6 release features. For daily updates regarding the softwares I develop, you can subscribe to this channel. You can also check out the release feature 2 video of Evolve version 1.6 from the i button above. Before that, it wouldn't have been possible without the Patreon members who continuously support the development process. If you want, you can go and support me on Patreon. The link is down in the description below or you can click on the i button above. You get a lot of perks which includes some really cool theme packs that you can download and install with the help of the GUI installers that can transform the look of your desktop environment with just one click. And these theme pack installations can be interpreted by Evolve so you can have multiple of them installed and just switch among them according to the look you want. And not just that, you also get access to the latest releases of Evolve so you're always the first one to try out everything before they're released publicly. Also Nectar, a new vector graphic software which I'm developing will be out for testing soon on Patreon, so also stay tuned for that. Okay, so let's start by installing Evolve. I currently have downloaded the latest version 1.6. You can find the links in the description for download. You can get it for free. And uh, let's run the install.sh script in order to install the program. So I'll just right click and run it as a program. And as you can see, you get a brand new install page for Evolve. Currently, I have a few things which are not installed properly. What used to happen is a lot of the testers who tried Evolve uh, complained that some of the features won't work. For example, the configs page not launching the file picker. So these problems are because you don't have certain packages that are installed. For example, Zenity is one of those packages which is required for launching the file picker. And the same goes for shell themes. The user themes shell extension is required to handle custom themes for GNOME shell. So let's install Zenity first. And by the way, it's not compulsory to install the packages. You can skip them if you don't want to. But remember, some of the features won't work. That's all. Done. I'll just refresh this page and as you can see the problem is resolved. We still have the shell extension issue. It is just easy to solve because you can download and install it directly from here. I'll just click the download button install. And as you can see it it gives the message that you will be enjoy all of the features of Evolve and you are good to go. So I'll click continue and that's all. We have launched Evolve. Okay now let's start with the online GTK theme store because it literally got completely redesigned. Remember I introduced this feature back in uh, Evolve version 1.5 just two months back and now it completely looks like a real online store check this out this is the version 1.6 store looks great isn't it you not only get handpicked themes over here to start with but you also get popular video suggestions from my channel so you can just click and follow the instructions over there and get the same look on your gnome desktop i think it would be pretty useful for beginners who don't have any idea where to start and also i think Aesthetically, adding the top cards make the interface look a bit more professional. In the top part, you get the search bar, but along with that, you get a number of search options. You can directly install a theme from the suggestions. Like for example, this is the Graphite GTK theme. You can just click and install it. The interface remains the same over here, but the search interface has changed a bit. So if I search for Nord, as you can see, you get the related search results. And I can go back to home by just pressing the home button and maybe search for something else. For example, this is the Lion GTK theme. I can refresh the page if the results are outdated and I can also go back or go forward just like you can do on web browsers. Now, you might have already noticed something else in this page that is a functional title bar. You now get a functional title bar in all the sub pages of the app. Previously, it was not available in the sub pages, but only in the main page of the app that is over here. So it is now available in all the internal pages. You get a functional title bar. Now, the reason I don't use the default title bar that is provided, uh, that is used by Flutter because they still use the GTK3 deck window decoration and that does, does 
not look nice with this application especially the bottom part which looks very weird so i started using my own uh, title bar but however with a recent flutter upgrade i would say not recent but a few versions back they removed transparent background in windows due to some uh, reason i don't know and that is why if you disable the extension that is the rounded window corners reborn which is now enabled you will see that the corners are actually sharp i'll keep this title bar as of now and i'll explore uh, more options how to uh, fix this problem but it will take some time okay now similar visual changes has been done in the extensions page this is how it looks like you don't get uh, the recommendation uh, video recommendations over here instead i have put two extensions first one is the user themes which is very important and uh, i would say it's quite redundant putting it over here because you know in the first install screen already it uh, prompts the user to install user themes might be i should add an option to check whether it is already installed or not and then show it as a recommended option over here for the other shell extension themes they are also available in the bottom part and as you can see the background has the subtle effect of the theme screenshot that is provided by the uploader for example if i open this one customize clock on lock screen as you can see the screenshot is over here it is visible in a subtle way in the background of this element the upper part also has the same consistent look you can search for stuff for example burn my windows and also the search page like i told you earlier looks different now you get all the same options that you get in the gdk themes and icon store they are also present over here next is integration of evolve with theme pack installers that I provide on Patreon. If you have been following my channel for quite some time, you might already know that I provide GUI theme pack installers that can transform your desktop experience with just one click. The same thing that I was talking about earlier in this video. So this is a special version of Evergreen Mac, uh, one of the theme packs that is available right now. So I'm just going to run this as a program. And as you can see, I can use it for installing the theme click next install the dependencies like wget jq git conkey and and more so i will go for custom install these let's go for the green version let's skip the conkey and let's go for the greenish wallpaper and all done and install and as you can see evolve launches automatically and takes a snapshot of the current theming state before the theme pack is installed and with a few clicks the installation is done as you can see i now have the green version of everforest mac installed in my system now the interesting part is if i try to run the installer again from here you will notice that it will prompt me that it is already installed and what i can do is reset everything to system default or undo all the changes with the help of evo previously only you could reset everything to system default that would be the default whatever the operating system had but now you can undo the changes to the previous theming state of your system and each of these installations are actually detected by evolve so i can just switch over here and as you can see i have evergreen 2.0 Grovebox 1.0 and even Evergreen Mac available in Evolve. This portion of the page also got some updates. Previously, it showed very small elements over here in order to represent the uh, theme packs that are installed. Now, they are replaced with these uh, elements which are now larger and they also show the color of the theme pack along with the uh, short description of what they are. So, uh, previously, they were like hard-coded into Evolve. So, there were around four different theme packs which were supported uh, which i released long back but newer theme packs could be only supported when uh, a new version of evolve was released but from now on evolve will support all later releases of 80 plus theme packs and you can click on any one of them in order to see how they look like so for example over here you get the preview image of the evergreen mac that is installed in your system so for example if i want i can switch to grovebox 1.0 so i'll just apply the theme pack and as you can see everything changes according now if i want to switch back to evergreen mac i can again apply this theme pack and it gets applied so i did not install the conkey because uh, i have to install the package again from the terminal but uh, if you have the conkey installed uh, from the theme installer then you can expect it to change uh, based on the theme pack that you apply from evolve okay the theme installer 
videos are only accessible through a Patreon membership. Now I also provide some cheaper options available, for example Configs which you can apply through Evolve. Now they are available for Patreon members at no cost but if you want you can get them from here. Now there's an update by which you can programmatically apply the config without you having to launch Evolve and again search for the config and apply it using a file picker and uh, you don't even have to uh, have the Xenity package installed. So as you can see we have a readme over here so if you want um, not want go through the readme as you can see so I'll just close Evolve and run .sh right click and run as program and as you can see it starts applying the config to the system it will apply the wallpaper the theme pack the extensions and everything that's all and it will close automatically previously you had to launch the file picker and apply the config from there but now you don't have to do that it will be done automatically with the help of evolve next we have some subtle changes in evolve for example in the wallpaper page you will notice the search bar now looks nicer there was a change in the search bar which was introduced and it made the search bars and the text box throughout evolve look very weird now they are completely fixed so if i go over here and as you can see all those uh, search bars are now fixed and they look nice now another thing is in the online wallpaper page now if you search for a wallpaper for example let us search for maybe blue let's go for the blue color so there are a lot of options available let's open one of them and you will notice that the transition from the low quality image to a high quality resolution is now smoother previously it was a bit glitchy but now it's smoother so yeah it's a bit of an improvement in the user experience and last but not the least when you have a new update available for evolve you will be notified through the application it will look something like this so you can either skip the version or install it from the link over there so that's all for this video thank you so much for watching do like share and subscribe and do check out my Patreon from the link down below. And if you want to try this app, you can also download it from the description below. It's completely free. And also subscribe to Next Software, another channel that I have recently opened, where I'm going to post about Nectar 2. That is the all-new vector graphics software. So stay tuned for that.